Hello, in this video, we're going to do sample test questions dealing with a perfectly competitive firm, and these questions are all going to be graphical based. Here's a perfectly competitive firm. First question, the equilibrium price is? Equilibrium price is going to be $5, which just represents the perfectly competitive firm's demand curve or marginal revenue curve. Correct answer here is B. The firm's marginal revenue is? The firm's marginal revenue in perfect competition is just price. So this demand curve that the perfectly competitive firm faces is also its marginal revenue curve. Answer choice B is correct. The profit maximizing output is? Perfectly competitive firm is going to produce where price equals marginal cost or marginal revenue equals marginal cost. That's right here at this intersection of this horizontal demand curve and marginal cost. We come down to the quantity axis and we find 10 units. So the correct answer here is A. Next question. At the profit maximizing output, total revenue is? Well, we found in the prior question that the firm will produce 10 units. That's where marginal cost intersects the demand curve. And if you're producing and selling 10 units at $5 each, 5 times 10 gives us our total revenue of $50. Answer choice B. So once again, it's just a price times a quantity of output. And that quantity of output is determined where the marginal cost curve intersects the price line or the demand curve or the marginal revenue curve, whatever you want to call it. Question five, at the profit maximizing output, average total cost is blank and total cost is blank. At 10 units of output, we find this 10 units of output and we walk up vertically, we bump into the average total cost curve, come across, and that is $4. So average total cost at the profit maximizing output is $4. What about the total cost? Well, if we're producing 10 units and the cost per unit is $4, 4 times 10 gives us the total cost. So $40 is the total cost. Answer choice D. So again, just to recap, at 10 units of output, average total cost is $4. To get the total cost at 10 units of output, just take 4 and multiply it by 10. Question 6, the firm's profit is? So the firm's profit is going to be total revenue minus total cost. We learned that total revenue is 5 times 10, or 50. We just learned that total cost is 4 times 10, or 40. So the difference between 50 and $40 is $10. So the correct answer here for 6 is C. Question 7, at what price does the firm make an economic loss? Well, the, in general, the firm will make an economic loss anytime the price or the demand curve is less than average total cost, than the lowest point on the average total cost curve. So let's look at these answer choices here. Correct answer is going to be uh, $3. At a price of $3, okay, if the demand curve intersected right here, at a price of $3, average total cost would exceed $3 and the firm would make an economic loss. So in general, when you're trying to find an economic loss or where it'll occur, find the lowest point on the average total cost curve. Anytime the demand curve is below that lowest point, the firm will be making an economic loss. At a price of 4 5 and $6, the firm makes positive economic profit. And uh, kind of a bonus question here, the firm's profit per unit, which is defined as price minus average total cost, is... So at the profit maximizing output of 10 units, the price is 5, average total cost is 4, so the difference between 5 and 4 is the profit per unit. This firm is making $1 profit per unit over 10 units, and that would give us the total profit of $10. So anyways, the answer here is A, answer choice A. Question 8, the firm's profit maximizing output that occurs where the marginal cost curve intersects demand, and that looks to be at 50 units of output. Answer D. At the profit maximizing output level, total revenue is $400. That is correct. 
eight times 50 is $400. So the firm is selling its product at $8 per unit, selling 50 units. So that is correct. Total cost is 11 times 50 or $550. Well, let's see. At 50 units of output, average total cost is $11. So taking this 50, walking up to the average total cost curve coming across, average total cost is $11. And if we take that $11 and multiply it by the output, we get total cost. So answer choice B is correct. And therefore, profit is minus $150. That is true. 400 minus 550 represents an economic loss here of $150. So profit is minus 150. All answers are correct. Question 10, the firm's profit per unit. Again, we defined that earlier as price minus average total cost. At 50 units of output, the price is 8. Average total cost is 11. So the profit per unit is minus $3. This firm is losing, losing $3 per unit of output. And if you're losing $3 per unit of output over 50 units, your economic loss then is 150. So anyways, the firm's profit per unit is answer choice B, minus $3. The average total cost minus the price. And question C, which of the following statements are true? This firm will shut down if price is less than average variable cost. Yes, that is true for any firm. If the firm's price per unit is less than the variable cost per unit, the firm should minimize its losses by shutting down. Answer choice B, this firm should operate if its total variable cost is less than $400. Well, we know this firm's total revenue is 8 times 50 or 400, so the firm should operate if its total revenue exceeds its total variable cost. So answer choice B is correct. This firm should operate if its total variable cost is less than $400, which would then make it less than its total revenue. Answer choice C, this firm should shut down if average variable cost is greater than $8. Okay, so here's the price of $8. And if average variable cost exceeds that, like we said in statement A here, the firm should shut down. So that is correct. Uh, this firm will earn negative profit if price is less than $10. At a price of $10, the firm would produce 60 units of output. That's where price equals marginal cost. And it just so happens average total cost also equals $10. So if price equals average total cost, the firm will be making a zero economic profit. Anytime the price would fall below that minimum point on the average total cost curve, the firm would be making an economic loss. So this statement is correct. This firm will earn negative profit if price is less than the minimum point on the average total cost curve. All answers are correct for question 11. Question 12, which of the following statements are true? Uh, this firm will produce 40 units of output to maximize profit. We'll find the price, set it equal to marginal cost, and that occurs at 40 units of output, so statement one is true. This firm earns zero economic profit. Yes, uh, the price equals average total cost at 40 units of output. So this is a picture of a firm making zero economic profit. Price equals average total cost at the profit maximizing output. This firm's total revenue is $320. The price of $8 times 40 units is $320. That is true. At the profit maximizing output level, average total cost is $8. That is true. At 40 units of output, average total cost equals $8. Price equals $8. So once again, there is zero economic profit. So all these statements are correct. This firm earns positive profit at a price of well, any price above $8, this firm would earn a positive economic profit. So at a price of $9, this firm would earn positive economic profit. In fact, any price above $8, this firm would earn positive economic profit. So the answer choice A here for 13 is correct. Question 14, at the profit maximizing output level, well, let's find the profit maximizing output level where marginal cost intersects demand. That's at 50 units. Average variable cost is $5. So at 50 units of output, walk up to the average variable cost curve, and indeed, that is $5, so that is true. Average total cost is $7. At 50 units of output, we walk up to the average total cost curve, and we see average total cost is $7. That is true. Average fixed cost is $2. 
The difference between average total cost and average variable cost, 7 minus 5, is average fixed cost. Statement C is true. Total cost is $350, total variable cost is $250, and total fixed cost is $100. Total cost is going to be average total cost times quantity, so 7 times 50 is 350. That is correct. Total variable cost will be the $5 times 50, which is 250. That is correct. And total fixed cost is average fixed cost times quantity or 50. That's 100. So all of these statements are correct. Answer choice E. Question 15, at blank units of output, the firm's total revenue is blank. So total revenue is just going to be price times quantity. The price in this example is $10. So uh, at 50 units of output, yes, uh, 10 times 50, the firm would have total revenue of $500. None of these other answers are correct. At 10 units of output and a price of $10, the firm's revenue would be 100. At 20 units of output and a price of $10, this firm's revenue would be 200. At a price uh, at 30 units of output and a price of $10, this firm's revenue would be 300. So the correct answer here is answer choice A. 16, the firm's average revenue. Average revenue is just price. In that case, it's going to be $10. Answer choice B. So the demand curve represents marginal revenue and average revenue. It's all equal to $10. The firm's profit is total revenue at 50 units of output is $500. Total cost at 50 units of output is 7 times 50, average total cost times 50, or $350. So this firm's total profit is $150. Another way we could back into this is get profit per unit. Profit per unit is price minus average total cost. So profit per unit here is $3. And if you're making $3 a profit per unit over 50 units, your profit is going to be 3 times 50 or $150. Answer choice A. Moving on. This firm will produce approximately blank units of output and earn blank profit. The firm's going to produce where marginal cost intersects the demand curve or marginal revenue curve, and that looks to be slightly less than 50. Okay. And what about the profit? So it looks like here the best answer is going to be B. The profit's going to be negative because that the average total cost curve lies above the price line. And we have negative profit then. So answer choice B. This firm will shut down if price is less than. What we want to do is find the minimum point on the average variable cost curve. That's going to be right here where marginal cost intersects that minimum point. And that looks to be at $7. So this firm will shut down, produce zero units of output if price is less than $7. Answer choice D. Moving on, how many units of output to maximize profit? We're going to find where this $11 intersects marginal cost. That is at 50 units. Answer choice C. At the profit maximizing output, total revenue is, it's going to be 11 times 50. Answer choice A is correct. Question 20. At the profit maximizing output, total profit is approximately... So uh, at the profit maximizing output, total revenue is $550, 11 times 50. The total cost is going to be average total cost times 50, so roughly 9 times 50 or 450. So the difference between 550 and 450 is $100. So answer choice A. The market demand and market supply are illustrated in the figure. In this market, a perfectly competitive firm sells its good at going to sell as good at the equilibrium price or nine dollars answer choice c the perfectly competitive firm's demand curve is perfectly elastic at a price of nine dollars that is correct these other answer choices are incorrect answer choice a the perfectly competitive firm's marginal revenue curve is a horizontal at nine dollars that is correct Suppose there are 1,000 identical firms operating in this market. 
How much output does an individual firm produce? Well, the total market output here is 50 million. And if that's being produced by 1,000 identical firms, we're just going to take 50 million and divide it by the number of firms. And each firm then is producing 50,000 units. Answer choice A is correct. Uh, 25, we have an average total cost curve here for a perfectly competitive firm. This firm will earn positive economic profit at a price. Answer choice C, anything greater than $20, any price greater than the minimum point on the average total cost curve, this firm will be making positive economic profit. The figure shows, uh, again, the average total cost curve. Here we want to find uh, where this firm will earn negative economic profit. Anytime the price falls below the minimum point of the average total cost curve, this firm will be making an economic loss. Answer choice A is correct. Question 27, this firm will earn zero economic profit at a price. When price equals average total cost, the firm will be making zero economic profit. So that's just going to be the minimum point on the average total cost curve. So in this case, $20. Answer choice B. This figure shows an average total cost curve for a perfectly competitive firm. This firm will produce blank units of output at a price of $20. So we got a demand curve horizontal at a price of $20. Notice that marginal cost will go through the minimum point of the average total cost curve. And that is going to occur, looks to occur right here at 10 units of output. Answer choice A is correct. Okay, that's it.